Hiya, it's me, Jenna Rose, and I almost hit that chord. <laughs> um, welcome to White Girl Reviews, and today I'm going to share with you about Cause's new album, long time coming. It's been about four years. Uh, it's called Affected. It's his uh, second album, so sophomore, I think they call it or something. Anyways, he's like, does a really nice job with it. I guess he's been suffering with writer's block and stuff for a while. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and um, let's go like so cause is really cool and if you haven't heard his first album it's worth a listen it's pretty it's pretty fresh um it's not a favorite it's something I don't like go back and listen to too much but like you know it's something that tells you that he's special that he has the potential and that we were looking forward to something like this um, from him so affected is has a bunch of different songs on here to look to. Um, it starts off with questions and it kind of goes through a bunch of different girls and relationships that have been screwed up and he seems pretty honest on it. Um, as a female you have certain thoughts it's like ah, why don't you treat your woman right? Why when she has a problem you gotta call yourself a Mac and like you know just brush her off to the side like why do you have to do that? Like I don't know, but it's <laughs> it's a man singing about his real life, and these are his real life stories, so that's kind of cool. Um, anyways, I also wanted to tag in here, adding a little bit of extra love to the world. Um, I know Valentine's Day happened, and other shootings and instances, but let us love, love, love. Okay, so um, the album starts off pretty religious and reflective. Uh, I just want to go into the tracks a little bit, talk about it. Um, it doesn't uh, try to fake much, though his lyrics don't, but when you get to the Hustler story later with Kendrick Lamar, who, interesting story about how they met, uh, Kaz was just like getting some food and thought he forgot his wallet, so then he went back out to his car for his wallet and he found it in his pocket, and then while outside, like, Kendrick Lamar, I guess, was popping out of his car, and it's so, like, this is out of Interscope Records, where they're both kind of um, a part of, so then Kendrick Lamar just popped up later at his studio, was like, hey, let me get on that track, but the thing is, like, as beautiful and as organic as that, as that is, the Kendrick's contribution isn't as beautiful, it seems phoned in, because it is, Kendrick seems to need more time for his lyrics and to rush him and with all the other big projects he's had going on I'm not sure it was really much of an ad. It seemed repetitive and not really inspired um, Even though it sounded like he was genuinely trying to get inspired um, You can't be on it all the time. So Anyways, that was skipping ahead to the second track, which was um, Hustler's story. Um, so questions is him and is cause admitting that people haven't really heard of him, which is totally true. Like, I hadn't heard of cause before this album came out, so yeah. But I'll tell you what did attract my attention is the two songs that came out as a singles, or yeah, um, it, let's see. There was Ignorant Confidence, which is after Hustler's story, and that one is so good. Like, okay. Um, <laughs> You keep hearing this album, and the more you hear it, the better I like. The better I like it. So I would say listen to it in the car. If you're listening to it just on a phone or something, it's not very great. If you're listening to it just in a car, eh, you gotta listen to it again and again, and it builds with you. And the song "Ignorant Confidence," it hits you fast than some of the others because it's got this really catchy chorus, which is cool for a rap song. Like he goes into like this Ali 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 Ali, like talking about Aaliyah because. He's all happy that he has this one girl and like this is one relationship he feels really good about but then like two seconds later he's like but I still have all these like strippers in my DM 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 <laughs> so uh yeah busy man <laughs> um we see let's see later on he has like this um talks about on the next track freaky 45 he says he has like an old soul he's like needs like an older woman so I think that those things are so funny like I just that's what I really love about rap is you get all these stories you get all these people like just putting their put it out there in this fashion um so we have oh proof is a song that I think the artist Tori Masters might have been a better 
fit for something like that. But the weird thing is like Cause and Tori Masters have a very similar tone of voice. Kind of like, um, mm, I guess Childish Gambino and Futuristic. But like, it's just cool. You hear a lot of uh, singing kind of hints of it along with the rap and he's not afraid to let himself sing um, using like a paper book instead of like a computer today because its battery is dead. Um, long week. We have just like two more, three more tracks to talk about. Um, Badu has currency on it so that was cool. Um, don't always hear currency on tracks so it's nice to hear him sing. Um, it makes you zone and the thing is this song is kind of slower where you can almost feel like people would be like smoking and then they'd fall asleep <laughs> if they were listening to this song so I don't think it's a favorite um oh my diffuser just went out uh out of water okay bout it if you haven't heard bout it go ahead and stop this video right now and go listen to it because bout it is an amazing song this has got to be one of the best songs on the whole album uh <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. He says, uh, <laughs> this line is the only line I'm going to quote from the whole thing. Hope your face looking like you cut onions. And he goes, onions, like he punches it and it sounds funny. Like, it makes you smile and it makes you just stank face it. As he's saying it, it's very powerful. Um, so, go ahead and listen to that song. Um, Affected is the title track, so I figured I should talk about that. It's the next um, song on the, or it might be a couple later. But anyways, um, it is when he kind of takes off and he just goes with the beat, and it's nice. It's a nice song. Um, I would say it's not a favorite at all, though, because I just, I don't click with it as much. But it's nice that he's taking the old style of rap, like back when like it started, or I don't even know. It just sounds like older, so. <laughs> hey, hope your week is good. I would say I would rate this album like, mm, maybe like a 3.5 just because, I don't know, the sequencing is pretty good. I feel like, I'm not sure about, um, who would turn down a Kendrick feature though, even though it's not necessarily productive, it's kind of tagged onto the end of that song. I don't know, 3.5, 4, what do you think? Um, definitely go listen about it and let me know because that song is awesome. Okay, have a good one. Subscribe and like this video. Bye!